Yeah, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, let us understand how to make visitor management software to manage all visitor to the apartment building and record all the visitor details. So we know like this is a huge uh, apartment. So a lot of people will come on every day basis. So each time you need to know like what is this visitor whom they want to visit, what time they come in, what they go out, whether still they stay in the apartment. So all the details administration want to know. So for this software will help them to manage day to day activities particularly related to the visitors. Now let us understand what are the things we can add in this particular project. Right. So first thing is so in order to manage the visitors we need to take care of the visitors. So visitors come from the local or come from the different countries so therefore we will take the country. Then we will take the city. So this is the master entries country data city these are the master entries. Then the visitor detail, visitor details, then visitor in, so what time they will come that is the in actually, then visitor out, so once they go out we can register they are out and also who are the employees working here, so we can write the employee details. So along with that we have login form, we will welcome form and then MDA parent and all these things. So totally we are on 14 forms. So make it as a small project. And if you need to do a project in vb.net, this is also one good title. So you can always do this because it's totally different than the regular management project. So and also this is useful in a hotels, in a apartment, in offices. So its scope is wide actually. When you talk about the scope, the application is really big. So we can keep on improve this project and we can sell to the many people. Even factories, companies, companies, hotels, apartment. So, like everywhere you can use the visitor management software. So, full fledged software definitely will be very useful. So, this is our attempt to make this particular software. So, this is a mini project suitable to mini project. Here, as we told already, around 14 forms are there. And I'll show the complete demo. So, if you are a first time watching this video in our channel, so we have a lot of uh, project videos. Please watch some more videos. Then you'll get a, some of the other idea in each project. That will definitely help you to make a big project or a, a good project. So, for free, uh, watch a few more uh, videos and then um, design completely how you want. And based on that, you need to write the code and then you have to make the project. If you do the project your own, definitely it will have a lot of advantages. Uh, particularly for jobs is really really very helpful because nowadays you should have a good experience then only you will get the job therefore keep try yeah, keep improve yourself to write the complete project so now here i'll show you like what are the things are there so how we had done this project so this is a desktop application project uh, done in vb.net but still you can develop in c sharp you can write in java you write in python you can use lot of other applications also uh, backend is Microsoft SQL Server and uh, we can create database and tables in the Microsoft SQL Server. So let us look at the demo. So here is the project uh, I opened in a Visual Studio and here is the Solution Explorer. If you want to Solution Explorer go to View menu, select Solution Explorer. Other one is a Server Explorer to view the database. So here let me connect to the database, right click, add connections, browse. Then generally visitor management in that bin folder, debug folder. So you need to keep the database in the bin debug folder. Okay. So then easy to access the database. And here you can expand this. Then here these are the tables. Right. So here is a welcome screen picture. And then next login form. Then MDA parent. Right. Let me run the project first. So click start so this is a welcome screen so you can bring this to center also right let me log in here so if you type wrong password so definitely it should get a message box stating that it is not correct so now let me enter this okay now you can see that qualification designations okay this is a simple form uh, you need to enter all the qualifications and the designation of the employees who are all the employees so if you enter the data here, what is the advantage? Why you need, why you need to do? Why you need to have this form is because you need to prove that master-child relationship. So when you go to employee, 
So here the qualification. What are the entries already done that will come out over here? Therefore, there is a master-child relationship between qualification table and the employee table. So here qualification is in the main table. From that we will bring it over there. So therefore that is a master and this is the child over here. And the same way designation. So what are the designations already there? Already entered. So we can choose the one from the list. So because of that reason we need to have these two forms. So let me create one employee. So that employee code is EMP101. And what is the name? Uh, something like ROM. The address I'll not fill now. So, but when you're entering real time, when you're demonstrating, you have to enter correct real time data. Then only your project go looks good. Therefore, always practice to enter correct data. Okay, this is the phone number, this is the email ID, and this is the qualification, and here is the destination, and here is the name. Once you fill all these things, click the save button. So, record is saved, it is appear here. We also have videos, we have a separate videos like how we can enter the data, how you can create master, sorry, MDA parent and the child form, how to create the login form. So, we explain step by step with the code. Please watch that videos, then you will understand like how to write the code. So, here is the country names, India, US, both are entered already. And city names. So, by India, then in in India, we have Bangalore. So, we enter one more city name, the Bangalore. If you want one more, so India, then you can say Mumbai. So, details is a Mumbai city. So, people all over the world will come over here. So, therefore, we can have all these data first. Next is the visitor detail. So, now the new visitor will arrive. So, visitor code, we can give the code, new code. Then what is the visitor name? Let's say John. Again, I'll not enter the address now. So it's in India from Mumbai. It'll come here. Mumbai. Okay, it's coming now. So Mumbai. And here is the mobile number. So email ID. Now again is the qualifications. You can choose one from the list. We enter more here, so then automatically it will reflect over here. So easy for you to choose. Now, so once you enter the details, you can say check in. So what date will come in? So this is a visitor code. So no photo. Okay, you need to add a photo to you. So it's a 19 hours. 30. 19.30, that means 7.30 per post. It's official to meet someone there. Check in is created. Now, if you see the list, so you can see the two people are inside. That list is showing now. Then you have a checkout here. So, this is a person has not yet checked out. So, here double click on the name or number to check out. So, if you double click here, it means that he is checked out. Then here you can see checkout list. So, there are no more people to check out. All are checked out. So log details, okay, all the details, what time they come in, what they out. So all the details are there here. So this we can take print also. So once you take the print out, so we can document it or we can send to the consent person. So when you go to reports, so employee list will come here. Then we have one more visitor list, all the visitors, details are stored over here. That list there, we can take the print out also. So these are things which is there in this project. So you can pass the video to write down all the design. So this is the qualification, designation, country names, city names, this is the employee details, visitor details, check-in, check-in list, check-out. Check-out means it will come automatically, list will come. From that you have to double click and you have to clear. So then the log details and then two more reports. So soon we'll uh, make one more video. There we'll make the complete project step by step. We'll write the code also. So therefore you can try this. So as we already we have some videos, watch that videos and try. And we also bring more videos using them. So definitely you can try to make the project. 
So in any case, if you have any doubt, so please write it in a comment box, send to us. Let me know what you have, what you have the problem or what you are facing. So here is our channel. So this is iBlix Tutorials. So please subscribe. Your subscription is really, really important for us. And then click videos. And also subscription is free actually. There is no need to pay anything. Just click on subscribe button. will be get subs login and then subscribe. And then as I told already, we have separate videos to how to make MDA form, then how to make login form and all. So I just scroll down. I'll show you here like. So this is to learn SQL Server. You need to know SQL. That is what very important. Like you know, how to write insert statement, how to write update statement, how to delete statement. That all, and all is explained here. And here is MDA parent and uh, child forms. And here is a login form. So therefore, please watch all these videos and try to do the complete project. If you do the project your own, definitely it's have a lot of advantage because for job experience is very very important. So keep trying. Try to do more projects and definitely will get a good job. Okay. Thank you.